the camera people, fuck off. You think it'd go like this, maybe? Well, it could. And then where's your exhaust go from there? It would have to go like a 90 down and then a 90. Right. Because then this could go straight into the firewall for... Right. Yeah, that would work. I mean, the ex the, either way you want the exhaust on that side of the frame rail, so... Feels like a lot of room to me. For it to go down. And around the wheel, tire. Yeah, well, I mean, the only problem with that is, is that right at the moment, your your flange is right over the frame rail, so you'd have to cut a more of that frame rail out. So this is basically where the turbo is gonna go in the Sonic Stang. Uh, if you haven't seen any other videos, it's S475 Borg Warner. I basically notched part of the frame there and we're gonna box that back in, put a flange in there. The exhaust will go in there and then straight down and then kinda through there. I'll show you more about that after. The charge pipe is gonna come straight off there and straight through the firewall into a air to water intercooler. And then either I'm gonna have the intake flipped around, it's gonna probably be in the firewall, like the throttle body will have to be in the firewall for that to work, so I'm not sure about that. Or it'll be forward facing and the other two will come out there and do one of those kind of things. I've been pretty busy actually working on this thing today, so I haven't shot a bunch of videos. But I'll kind of show you how things are progressing, what the plans are, and kind of explain a couple things right now. Just finished cutting both these out. Basically, the T6 flange will go like that on there. And then these go inside the frame like that and support the turbo in place there. You can kind of see how that's going to work. And there'll also be a piece on the back, so the frame will be completely boxed back in for strength, and the turbo will have a super strong, sturdy mount. Uh, so that should work out good. Next thing I'm going to do is cut the piece that'll box the back of it in, with those other triangle-shaped ones on the side. And then after that, I'm going to continue grinding and fitting all those pieces in there, and getting them ready to weld in place. There's definitely a bunch of room up under the dash for the air to water intercooler though. And I think I'll like it more underneath here, just because then it won't be affected by the underhood temperatures. Which was something I was kind of worried about. Plus, I think it'll just be cleaner than having it over here in the engine bay. Why not hide it back in there, right? And then it's kind of cool where the charge pipe goes in and not everyone knows what the fuck's going on there. And Yeah. So that's how that's going to look in the end. Uh, still needs to be fit a lot better and... Finished ground and all kinds of things, but basically, that's what we're going for. So that will be jammed in there and hold the turbo up, you know, like I've been showing. Once again, some pretty easy fabrication that almost anyone can do if you just put the time and effort in. These are the two side pieces for the turbo mount. Basically, I just put them in the vise and I was grinding them to make them both the same size and shape. Just to get a little fancy and do a kind of nice, somewhat nice job of it. So I cleaned up these pieces as best as I care to with the grinder. And the notch in the frame rail is about the size it needs to be. Basically from here, we'll have to start welding that together and final fitting it in there. And then we'll have the turbo mounted. All right, it's uh, Sunday, yeah, Sunday night now. We're here at RFG, me and Rob, hanging out. And I thought I'd give you guys a quick update and peek into his engine bay and what he's got going on here. Last time we saw it, it only had that one turbo on. Now it has the full twins in place. And everything else, basically. The exhaust, that's uh, in there. And it's basically ready to fire, besides wiring which is what he's working on right now. 
another addition since last time. We got these really cool push lock fittings, all black. Nice, uh, nice match to everything else under the hood. Doing some wiring. Doing some wiring, headlight wiring right now. There'll be a startup video of this thing as soon as it happens, so uh, make sure to subscribe to catch that when it does. And if you have any questions about the build, I or Rob will try answer them in the comment section. Another project Rob started today you guys might be interested in is this fender, which is for his 71 GTO convertible. He's in the process of restoring it completely. Underneath is basically all done, the chassis done, the suspension, all that. The motor's in there. What is it again? It's a 400. Pontiac 400. Pontiac 400 is in there. Painted up, ready to start. Basically it's ready to go, except for the interior, which he has now ready to go. And paint. So if there's any DTO fans in the SVP TV viewership, look out for this one. It'll be uh, out there soon and in our videos. You can see where Rob's circled. There was two problem issues on this fender. Which isn't too bad because he got it for a really good price. But he's already fixed them basically in like an hour he put into it. So this should turn out pretty nice. All original, no bondo. Pretty nice piece. Very nice. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. There'll be more of the Sonic Stang in the next video. Uh, Rob's car will be getting running soon like I said. And a bunch of other cool stuff. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that. Rob? What? Hey, catch you guys next time. Check you later. Check you later. We want likes. But Randy. Smash that fucking like button.